Um, okay, yeah, excellent. Well, welcome to today's free webinar on removing the most dangerous entities using the quantum energy clearing everyone. So I thought that I would do this because as we'd all agree, um, these entities and these dark spirits are very much a big problem, especially in today's world with all the shit going on at the moment, which I'm sure you'd all agree with me on. So how's everyone feeling today? Faye's feeling pretty good. That's good, Faye. Good to hear. Barbara's feeling good. Dorothy's feeling good too. Fantastic. Okay, so my camera for some reason is playing up now, so I'll keep it off just for this webinar until I get it fixed up. So John doing well. Great to hear, John, that you're doing well there. Okay, so now without further ado, let's get into today's webinar. Now, I thought um, before we get into any entity clearing, first I'll give you all a background just on the most dangerous entities um, specifically. So the first one being discarnates. Now, what these are are beings who have died, but they haven't passed over. Or in other words, they're stuck in the fourth dimension in the astral realms. And what they tend to do is, is attached to a person's energy, either due to karmic ties or be simply because they're energy vampiring. Now, as you can imagine, a lot of people will have these on them and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're a bad person or other people are bad people. If they have discarnates or these other entities, it simply means that loopholes or somewhere along the line, you created trauma or you created karma or something along those lines, which, which gave them a gateway to enter your field. And um, most of the time, these discarnates are actually looking, just looking for help. A lot of the time they're not malicious, but, um, but as you can imagine, there also are quite a few of them that do, that do intend to cause harm. So that's the discarnates. And um, now the next uh, dangerous entity is a demon. And what these are, are angels or beings who have turned to the dark side. Or, or in other words, they're operating out of alignment with universal laws or in sin, meaning that they're breaking the karmic laws and they go against what karmic law is all about. And uh, as you can imagine, they've been banished from the heavenlies forever because the way it works um, in those astral realms is that once, well, if you're an angel or a light being up there, the moment you leave, you leave the heavenlies, um, then you're banished forever. You can't come back in. And these guys rebelled. And then the next one is dangerous, uh, um, is negative entities. And what these are, are organizations or groups such as cabals, cartels, principalities, and powers. So, so that means that they're, they're more physical kind of bodies, but they're also um, spiritual bodies as well. And what they have the ability to do is send out curses, hexes, spells, dark energies, implants, etc. So meaning that they can actually place stuff onto you and they're the ones who do it. And now this next one is ghosts. Now there's, there tends to be a lot of speculation, especially when it comes to anything to do with ghosts or poltergeists. But, um, but then what this, what they are, uh, are just basically discarded who have learned how to draw energy outside a person. Because as we know now with the scarnets, um, what they tend to do is they, they suck on your energy and the energy vampire and they attach to a person. Whereas ghosts have learned how, um, how to draw energy outside a person. And they actually have gained a certain level of independence and generally they've been on earth for a very long time. So they've been stuck longer than a lot longer than the discarnates have. And then the next one here would be poltergeists. And what these are, are basically ghosts who have gained enough power to move energy 
and are attached to places instead of people. And they're actually capable of moving objects and materializing. So like you see in those movies. So now what I'm going to get you to do is just type in the text chat, which of these entities you feel like, um, are strongest within your field. So just type discarnates or type demons or whichever one you feel like is the strongest for you at this current moment in time. Faye, I don't know. So the main thing is to not think about it and just get a feel into it, just get a sense. Because well, most people, as you can imagine, they have more than they have more than one of these entities, and there will be certain people who have all five. So Sheldon says demons and discarnates, and it wouldn't surprise me if that's the most common one here because they they're the ones who tend to be the worst of the bunch out of these five with like entering people's fields. And the other thing I'll mention too, is that you'll certainly know if you've got an entity active in your field, because you'll notice that you'll feel tormented in your mind and you'll, and you'll also feel, um, erratic, like emotionally <laughs> and you'll, and you'll, and you'll blow up and, um, for no reason at all, like, and didn't, and not know where it came from. And um, you and and they also are capable of causing aches and pains in your body as well, and that they they can also do that and cause bad health. So Barbara says, discarnates, demons, possibly Judith, um, demons, entities, discarnates for Dorothy, Faye, demons. So yeah, that was, that was my feeling. Most people, um, for most of you here, demons and discarnates, especially the discarnates, because that's why I started off with the discarnates because that they're, they're the ones that tend to be the most common of the five. And, but then the demons and the negative entities even are also very common, like even the negative entities. The Judith and Judith discarnate and nowadays cabals and other powerful groups can send negative stuff to us. That's correct, Judith. Um, not just nowadays, but they've been doing it for centuries. And, and, and there's a reason that they've been in control of the planet for so long. Because the biggest problem starts with the fact that mo with, that most people don't even know about these things. And, the, and they've done like everything in their power to keep it hidden from the public. But now as, as but now as we're becoming more aware, um, we're now realizing that these very much are real and that these very much do have negative effects. Okay. So is there any questions before we get into the energy clearing of the entities? Okay, so no questions. All right, so now we'll just get straight into the clearing then. And before we do, I'll, I'll quickly explain how, how this will work and the process that I'll be walking you through just to give you an idea. So, um, entity type of clearings are very different to your, to your ordinary emotional or mental kind of clearings. Because as you can imagine, because these entities are actually, are actually alive, um, and, and, and they, and they can do a lot of harm. Um, it can be very, it can be dangerous to actually do entity clearing if you don't know what you're doing. And, uh, so the way we'll actually be doing this is first, of course, we'll do the breathing and the ritual just to set up the protection and get your mind in a relaxed state. And once we've done that, I'll use this code to first clear out any karma or any issues which are allowing the entities in, in the first place. And then I'll simply cast them out after that.
along with their implants and their control devices. And then, uh, and then of course, like I'll then ask how you're all doing afterwards and we'll just roll with that because what most people make the mistake of is just casting out the entities like just gung ho, but that's a bad way of doing it because the problem is if you didn't clear the, the cause, like the reason of why they came in, in the first place, they actually can come back. And uh, they tend to come back seven times worse, according to the Bible and other different like esoteric knowledge books. So they actually come back sevenfold if you don't if you don't clear the, the karma and the other issues that allowed them in there. So does that sound good, everyone? Just type a Y if so. Okay, fantastic. So what we'll do is we'll start the clearing now. So everyone now just focus on this code. And what I'll actually get you to do is just now inhale the code into the place in your body or your aura where you feel like the entities are the most strong. So whether that's your first chakra, your second one, whether that's your auric field, your mind or wherever, just inhale the code there and visualize it there and just close your eyes. And now just start taking deep breaths um, through the nose for four counts. So inhale through the nose for four, a count of four. And then hold it for the four counts. And then exhale out through the mouth for eight. And just continue that breathing process to relax your mind. And we'll take a quick minute or so to do this. We now call upon the divine protection and the bright white pyramid surrounding me and each person here. And we call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron and Christ and mother Mary. So only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, or anything else related now. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that each person that with that this higher energy clearing code be used to clear each person here from any karmic imprints 
allowing um, the demons, the discarnates, all those other entities in. And we clear the karmic imprints from past lives, from this life and inherited karma as well. And we also cut and sever any karmic cords or other draining energy cords as well between them and any of these entities, bring them back into themselves and release any discordant emotions or emotional charges, such as um, any anger or rage or sadness or grief, sorrow or others related now. And we also clear any mental chatter or voices in the head. And we, and we now command by the power of Christ's name, by his blood and the order of Enoch, that <clears throat> the order of Enoch, that any that uh, any demons or negative entities or ghosts or poltergeists are now cast out of each person here, along with any of their implants or control devices associated, and send them back to the lower realms to receive their judgment sevenfold justly earned now. And we also remove any discarnates by providing a third order escort, contain them if they resist, and transport them to the astral planes justly earned now. To Asia in today. And we now remove any influence of, of any of these entities from each person here and, and clear the torment around it. And we also will provide a third order escort to escort any ghosts looking for help to the astral planes justly earned now and contain them if they resist that and transport them to the astral planes justly earned now. We now bring each person here back into their body and into their own energy space again. We now rebalance each person in all areas of life and pour in the golden liquid light and send in the love from the higher mother and father.
Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Faye feels lighter. Excellent, Faye. Judith more relaxed, a lot of yawning. Yep, so that sounds like there was a lot releasing there then. And Faye feels more balanced as well. Yeah, well, it's amazing how much more balanced and relaxed you feel after clearing these guys out. John, thank you. Gratitude and integration. Yeah, no worries, John. The glad, the glad that it's integrating nicely. Sheldon, lots of yawning and felt something in my throat. Relax now. Yep, so it sounds like there's something clearing from your throat then, Sheldon, around speaking of truth. Barbara's still processing, having lots of burping, felt heaviness on chest, lifting off a big one. Thanks, William. Yep, no worries, Barbara. Yep, that certainly is a normal reaction there. Dorothy, more relaxed, yawning. And Shirley, more relaxed around solar plexus. All right, so there's there's certainly um there's certainly different sensations in different parts of the body for each of you. I'm noticing. So the solar plexus is specifically around your power and your self esteem. Judith, I feel more balanced and felt an energy shift around my stomach. Yeah, excellent, Judith. And John, hands over my solar plexus, massaging in the bringing of completement. Yep, so it's out. So there's certainly a few of you that had the solar plexus, which kind of lined up because as I was clearing that, I was doing the clearing, I was really feeling a lot in the solar plexus. And it was making me feel a bit nauseous as I was doing the clearing. So that um, it makes sense because the solar plexus again is your power center, and and being in your personal power, which of course in this in the world we live in, it's very a lot. Most people are very much not empowered. And that's what and that's what will be changing. And that's, and that's why it's very important to clear these entities out too, because in, you'll, you'll be amazed again at how much your, how much you'll increase in your power and increase in how you see yourself and in all the different areas of your life. So now I'll just get you all to have a drink of water just to integrate that. Okay, so um, any final questions or comments before we end for today? Sheldon, thank you, William. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, Sheldon. T, thanks very much, William. Yeah, thanks, T. And Dorothy, no, all good. Thanks. Um, Dorothy, no questions. Thank you. Barbara, thanks, William. Awesome as always. Judith, can this be used on groups? Um, yes, uh, yeah, absolutely. Like this entity clearing can very much be used on groups because, um, the, well, I, as, as you just saw, like I cleared it from all of you just at the same time collectively. And that's the beauty of the clearing. It can also be used for groups, not just one-on-ones. And Judith, this is really good. Thank you. Yeah, I certainly agree, Judith. It's very much needed. And um, Sh Shirley, all good. Thanks, Bruno. Thanks. Okay. Well, thanks everyone. And before we end, before we officially end, just type a Y in the, the. Okay, John. John, we have a legislative session in process here, and would like to give it to them. Yes. Yeah, so, um, the, the great thing about this is that, well, this, this will be recorded of course. So once the replay is available, you can then ac you can then access that and then you can like just simply use the clearing on here. So hopefully that helps.
And Judith, thanks William for the healing today. And now before we officially end, um, just type a Y in the text chat if it would interest you to inquire with me of, on about discussing further energy clearing specifically for entities. So just type a Y in the text chat and if that would interest you. So John says, yes, beautiful and right on time. Yeah, absolutely, John. Faye, how does hell fit in with these entities? Okay, so one of my team members has now asked if I'd like to send a link to book in a call with me if if you'd like if you would like to discuss further um on the energy clearing for entities specifically. So yes, um that would be great. Thanks, team. If you could put the link in the text chat. And Faye, is there a hell? Well, um I I do well, I do believe that there is one because what but it's but not in the way that religion teaches it of course but picture it this way because well we're we're, very, we're, we're we're well aware of the higher realms and the higher cosmic dimensions yeah but um picture it like a darker form of that so because the higher realms it gives it brings life and but you've got the ascended masters but then the hell what the hell actually is is a more lower kind of dimension and uh, basically um what what it is is that well it sucks the life out of you and it's all about personal gain it's all about like power hungry and, do and dom world domination and so pretty much the opposite of what the higher cosmic realm is all about so yes they're very much it so they're very much is a hell or like a darker cosmic place, which which I very much believe in, and the awakening within. Because, well, these demons and these entities, right? Well, they would have to reside somewhere. And that's that's where they would be residing in the lower kind of dimensions. So hopefully that helps. And what you can do, Faye, like, um, as well, like I mentioned, if you want to discuss further um, and ask a few more questions on it, you can um, feel free to just book in a free call with me, which my team has now put in the text chat. Yep, so no worries, Faye. All right. Well, I thank you again, everyone, for taking the time, the commitment and the effort to show up here today. And uh, it was very much needed with the entity clearing. And uh, have a great rest of your day, your evening, wherever it, is, wherever it is you are. And I look forward to discussing further to those of you who are keen. Um, and take care of yourselves and allow it to integrate. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.